I went to like a pretty big high school in Pennsylvania, known for for producing like big time college football players. Um, had a lot of offers coming out. I could have gone pretty much for the most part anywhere I wanted to. Um, decided on Penn State with uh, Coach Franklin and his staff. Um, I was just talking to someone about this the other day about how. So I started getting recruited as a freshman from from Penn State, and so you know I went through the the whole coaching change at O'Brien that recruiting process and then again to Franklin. So I probably would have ended up there either way just because I was kind of the hometown kid and and everything like that. Um, you know, I get there and obviously I'm behind Saquon Barkley who's, you know, to this day uh, one of my best friends. Um, and then Miles Sanders who just got drafted in the second round of the Eagles. So, you know, it was hard for me to get on the field. I, I did more so my redshirt freshman year than my redshirt sophomore year. And, you know, Miles started to, to come along and progress. Um, so, you know, that was, that was really tough for me, obviously, coming, coming in as a big-time recruit and, you know, thinking you're going to do all these amazing things in college, like right away almost, which is kind of how, like, the recruiting world's going. Um, but, you know, I'm grateful for that. I got to learn a ton from, from Saquon. And just to being in, being in a talented running back room like that, you learn so much. Those guys push you. You push them. Um, so I, I think that made me a better person and a better running back. Um, and then, you know, when it – came time to I decided to transfer uh, I had some relationships here with some of the the former coaches and a couple of the guys on the team like Troy Reader and Noah Bay who played here last year that I played with at Penn State um, you know it's nice and close to home and I, uh, I just felt like this was the place to to be I mean you kind of got to come in with uh, the same attitude you come into college with in the first place just that you're gonna be quiet you're gonna keep your mouth shut and you're gonna work hard and I actually ended up having some some issues with the NCAA with like my transfer waiver. So I actually didn't get cleared to play last year until the day before the first game. So then it was kind of hard to, to work my way into things and, you know, go from there. But towards the end of the season, you know, I was getting on the field a good bit. And, uh, you know, I kind of had the same approach I did when I came into college throughout the whole year last year that, you know, I was just going to keep my head down, keep my nose to the grind and, and just work hard. Well, you know, it, it took a little while to figure out really what I wanted to do. I thought about, you know, transferring to another D1 school and I would have to sit out a year. Um, and then I, I kind of got my mind set on the FCS level and from there kind of looked at all the CAA schools and, and um, seeing where things fell. And, you know, proximity to home was a, good, a big thing for me because I have a, a really close relationship with my mom. Um, and, you know, I think just the, the relationships I had with people even some of the coaches that I, the relationships I had from high school, you know, them coming into my high school recruiting other players when I was already committed to Penn State, kind of stayed true and is what really got me here.